I started this project by brainstorming ideas of like what I do every day and if everything I was coming up was a bit rubbish. So over the next couple of days I just started um, filming and documenting things that I do with the hope that it would somehow spark an idea. One of the things I filmed was myself putting on makeup for the day. That was a video that actually sparked some kind of ideas. I don't really know why. It was about 15 minutes long and it was just a bit dull and there was nothing that interesting about it for me to focus in on. Um, it was just kind of a sequence of me opening things um, and then putting whatever it was onto a brush and then brushing the thing on my face and then just kind of hoping that it turned out okay and I didn't look horrible. And then there was just a large section dedicated to me dropping things um, and trying to somehow scramble and pick them up and not succeeding at that. So that was a bit tedious and dull at the same time. Um, so after focusing on the idea of makeup and this process of putting things on, I looked at the stills from the video to see if they were of any use. They looked slightly more interesting um, and I was hoping that I could use them as photographs but I decided against that so I was just going to stick them into my sketchbook um, and besides the pictures in my sketchbook I started just filling in the space with doodles of the kind of makeup tools and items that I was using. Um, I ended up actually really liking them a lot more than the photos. Um, so I started a small sketchbook with just simplistic drawings and fine line of things lying around my uni room or my hall at home, my boyfriend's front room, my friend's desk in the hope that it might develop into a final idea. It didn't, but it was still quite nice to do this and I quite like that the little book is a piece in itself. After finishing that, I was still kind of stuck so I decided to mainly focus on artist research. Um, looking at artists like Zoe Murdoch and Joseph Cornell, I also looked at poetry and found an excerpt of writing by Sylvia Plath that I really think resonates with this project and I kind of decided to base my um, thinking off of that. Um, I did a full sketchbook of um, artist research as well which I really enjoyed doing and the main idea I went with was putting on a face both physically and metaphorically. Um, I wanted to revisit what I was doing last year which was box art, again relating to the quote, um, because I felt like I really enjoyed doing it and because this was such a long project compared to what we had been previously doing, I didn't really want to spend six weeks of my uni doing something that I wasn't going to enjoy or that I didn't feel as if I would be successful with. Um, so I began building the boxes and I actually ordered one from online because I really wanted this um, glass panel that went over it. I'm not sure why, I was just really dead set on getting this glass panel and I didn't really know how to make it myself either. So um, during the drawing workshop I was trying to come up with ideas and brought in my used makeup wipes because I always end up with my makeup bag overflowing with um, used makeup wipes which is a bit horrible but um, so I started trying to draw on them and trying to use them as like a medium instead of paper and um, they're not yeah they're not great for drawing on so I kind of decided to sack that idea and started folding them up and to shove them back in my bag and one of them ended up folding into like the exact size of one of the little compartments so I placed it in and I actually really liked how it looked um, and thought it related really well and I quite like the idea that it's already a face on the wipe that has been taken off and I was also playing about with string and decided to wrap the string around the wipes as if they were little presents almost as um, it's really people mainly focus on how they present themselves and looking also at um, 
branding of makeup and how they're presented as well. Um, I decided to order like 10 little plain eyeshadow pots because I think I kind of wanted to incorporate them at some point. Um, I was also doing other box art pieces on the side of this just because I had them in my head and but I really liked um, that when I went back to this particular piece I kind of went back with a fresh eye. Um, so I also found in my drawer at home an old mirror and decided that I quite liked having the piece of mirror in the box because people can kind of see themselves when they look at it as well. Um, so I started making more of the little white present things and just kind of mixed and matched about of where I was going to put them and stuff like that and just kind of trying to lay them out in a way that I quite liked. I also wanted to incorporate text in this so I decided to kind of do a piece of blackout poetry almost on one of the, the white makeup white in the middle. Um, and there was red string around that one in particular, mainly just for aesthetics and I kind of wanted to draw attention to it as well. Um, so on the, what I wrote on it um, was incorporated the word Wilton, which I quite like. Um, it's not normally used to describe people, it's normally used to describe flowers, which I quite like how that relates, how people see flowers as pretty, but once they're dead and gone, they're not really that much more important now. I also didn't um, clean my hairbrush for this entire project, so I had this big clump of hair which is a bit disgusting um, and I've put that in the box as well as um, Kirby grips which I think are pretty self-explanatory. I have like an abundance of them lying all over my desk, all over my floor um, and it's just something that somebody always says, oh I need a Kirby grip so um, once my little pots had arrived I kind of decided to leave them empty and blank just that way that they're not presented in a way that people want to use them um, or that they have any real use. I also had to like cut and sand them down which was a bit of a pain but I think I ended up really quite liking the final product that I came up with. Um, I mixed and matched everything about aesthetically to try and figure out which was best, which went where, um, and I liked the use of the five makeup wipes, um, just again relating to the overflowingness of, yeah, is that word? No, overflowingness of what I had in my makeup bag. Um, and I think the glass panel just kind of adds something to it, that it kind of seems fragile and important, almost like you're not meant to touch it um, and I just decided to call it wipe it off mainly for the pun because I like puns um, so that's the end of it um, thank you for watching uh, not that you had much of a choice um, but yeah